Hey everyone, here's another quick update on the 3.2 rebuild. Right now, I have my new main bearings in and the crank in. And what I'm doing is I'm verifying the bearing clearance using plastic gauge. And you always want to verify your main and your rod clearances before you even get the engine all the way assembled because it's not that hard to do and gives you peace of mind that you have the right size bearings in and if you some somehow don't have the right size bearings you'll find out really quick doing this so you need plastic gauge for the right size bearing clearance and this is point zero zero one to point zero zero three because I believe this engine's clearance is about point zero zero two so what you do is you cut a little piece of it you can see it right there this is just one long strip of plastic gauge you cut a little piece of it wide enough to cover most of your bearing journal right here and you set it in there and then you take your bearing caps and put them on and then you torque your bearing caps to spec and don't spin the crankshaft or anything but after you get your bearings torqued to spec then you take your bearings back off take your or your bearing caps back off and then you'll look down in here and this plastic gauge will have smushed it'll have smushed down and widened out and then you use this little handy gauge to see what your actual clearance is so when this plastic gauge smushes out it should be as wide as that point zero zero two uh, little bar then you check all your all your bearings and then you do the same thing for your connecting rod bearings as well and that way it'll save you from trashing a brand new rebuild with incorrect size bearings so there's a little Tech tip for you guys, in case you didn't know.